Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to guide you how you can easily use the dashboard and most importantly how you can use the widgets in money.com. So let's say I'm going to in CRM and I'm going for deals here that I have. Here I will just simply click plus add a view and I'm going to click dashboard. And when I have the dashboard you can simply visualize your data by choosing the uh, widgets here, but better you can simply click add a widget, click more widgets and here you can have option to add all widgets. So you have option to add let's say to the list. I can add a widget. What will happen? Then I can simply add a battery. I can add the numbers. I can add let's say more widgets even. So let's say I'm going to choose a calendar and then I'm like clicking all the widgets I need. I can add a text. And then on the last I can add a map. Or we can really choose which one you want here. Maybe a countdown, right? Or even the media. So we have option to add a YouTube. We have option to add a bookmarks, a text, a to-do list or if you were mentioned. Then you're going to have also the apps by monday.com as like Facebook feed, data studio. Then you have like marketplace apps here that you can have like Figma have directly in your monday.com and many more here. So this is what you can actually add here and this is how you can access all the like recommend it and build your dashboard as much as you want. So uh, what I can do here is when I have it, I can simply choose the widgets and edit as much as I want to the left side, to the right side. Now here I can simply I can add a widget, I can add a battery, again I can add a numbers and what you can do here, so let's say for a text I can make it smaller, you can always make bigger or smaller your widgets. I can make it like this, like this, then hi there, this is a text. Right, you can also change the text here. So I can make it like this. Now I would like move it. Now what I can do is also edit it, add the settings of it, right? If you have some you can change the color and this is how you can use like the widget. Now I can move the to do list, click free dots, settings and you can create a new task. So let's say call Marcus and I would have it right here. Battery, one proposed lead, then I would have a calendar here, let's say a number, also the battery so I can have the number and click settings here and you can like choose the close probability, deal value, forecast value. And that's pretty much it. So as you can see this can be like the number and which is call, going to call it forecast value and it's pretty cool what you can do here. Now also I can again click add a widget, more widgets, let's say a map. So that's what you can do here. Again I would like to take it, I can make it bigger.
and these are the locations of my deals so hi there this is a text and you can really optimize like what do you want to find on your dashboard so let's say a task that you need to do a things that needs to be done also uh, a calendar what is happening like okay i have a a thing here okay i'm going to check it out the youtube deal so let's say i can simply click more widgets and add like I was mentioned so that's how we do it I don't know what else to show you guys because it's pretty straightforward you can always also filter it by person if it's going to be assigned to like let's say myself here 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 I'm going to have person myself and I'm going to find the deals and everything by myself. What needs to be done? Forecast the value. You can switch between people. You can also filter it here. And you can add a new deal or new group of deals directly here. So that's how we do it. And that's pretty much it how it works. If you can have any questions, guys, let me down below in the comments. I'm going to be really happy to show you or explain you everything here so that's pretty much it thank you very much and have a great day and goodbye see ya